Several years ago, I came across the story of a Catholic priest named Brandon Manning. He's an author and a speaker, and he tells a time when he was alone at, at, at night, and, and his doorbell rang, and, and a young woman came to the door and said, Father Manning, my, my, my father's dying. My dad's dying. Can you spend a half hour with him before he dies? And, of course, the, Brandon said, yes, I will. And so he gets up and goes to the home, and, and the guy was so bad, he he decided to be checked out of the hospital and go home to die. And, and uh, he, so the, the uh, priest walks in, Brandon Manning walks into the guy's bedroom, and he sees a wooden chair that's sitting next to the bed, and so he starts to walk over to this empty wooden chair. But as he's walking there, this, this, this uh, man who's next to death motions for him and says, no, 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 sit over here. And he has his daughter bring another chair, and he sits then on the other side of the bed. It's kind of curious for him, but... Brennan has a conversation with him, sitting down next to him in the chair. They talk about the man's illness for a while, and then the guy said, the reason I wanted to see a pastor or a priest is I, I wanted to check something out. He said, I've been a Christian for a long time, but I've, I've never been a very effective prayer. And I got so frustrated that a couple years ago I talked to a friend about it, and, and a friend suggested to me that maybe what would help me in my praying would be to that if I would just take an empty chair and just sort of sit opposite of it and think of having a conversation with the risen Jesus, just talk to him. And he said, so Father Manning, I, I've got to I've tell you, I've been, I've been doing that. And I, that's why I have this wooden chair right next to my bed. He says, I, I've talked to Jesus by talking to that chair. And he says... The dying man said to the father, he says, sometimes I talk to him for an hour and I tell him how I'm feeling. I tell him how I'm worried about dying. I tell him I'm lonely. And I tell him I'm scared. Sometimes I talk to him up to two hours and I, and I just want to know before I die, is that okay? Father Manning says to the old guy, he says, I, I, I think it delights the heart of God. I think you capture what it means to really pray, to have a conversation from your heart to a living Christ. The man said, well, thank you very much. And they parted ways. And a couple days later, Brandon Manning got a call from the daughter. And she said, uh, uh, my dad died. And they talked about it a little bit. And talked about the brevity of life and her dad and funeral arrangements and these things. And just before she hung up, she said, Father Manning said, by the way, the strangest thing, when I came into my father's bedroom, he had gotten out of bed and his head was lying on the open chair, that empty chair next to his bed that he always insisted would be there. I found him dead with his head on the open chair. I mean, that's the heart of, the, of prayer. That a man who's dying, who has a hard time having a conversation with God, got out of bed and put his head on the chair on the lap of the one who he trusted in and fell in love with. Conversations with open talk. Sincerity. Genuineness. Not the show. Not the fanfare. I can point to times in my life and places in my life when I went to Bethany, Bethany Bible College in Santa Cruz, there was a special place on that campus that I would go and I'd pray. In my office right now, there's a, a short little pew, small pew from our chapel area. We've changed some of our seating. and I said, I want that pew. And they thought I was crazy. I said, I want it in my office. It's in my back office. And it's just a little, little one. It, it reminds me of when I was just starting off in ministry and when at the time Pastor Stewart and Pastor Chuck and Obed Dillingham, they used to sit on the, on the platform in these little pews. And 
oftentimes I would come down here late at night, nobody else around. And I'd go up on that, that little pew, and I'd bury my head in that pew, and I'd just cry out to God. And I'd just talk to him. So I wanted that pew in my office. Because even today, I look at that pew, and I remind myself of the privilege that I have any moment, for however, for however long I want to be, to talk to God about the things that are in my life. And oftentimes praying for you and your family in this church, in this community. Now, I'm not saying you have to go out and buy a chair, but what I am saying is if it helps, if it helps you sometimes to think of the presence of Christ across from the kitchen table or in the car or wherever, find something 